Once you install the G-Shift app, you're prompted to enter your URL, which will bring you to Shopify. And either if you're logged in already, you'll, uh, you'll uh, go right to the application. And if you're not logged in, you'll need to log in from here. And once you're logged in, you'll be prompted with a basic screen uh, showing you a few key things. This is the home screen for the G-Shift app. Uh, the first thing that you're going to see is the number of keywords you're tracking. And in this case, we've added five keywords. And then also your G-Shift score. Now the G-Shift score is based on a combination of uh, the keywords that you're tracking and how many rankings you have. So how many pages from your store are actually ranking for those keyword phrases. So the combination of both of those makes for a score out of 100%. Um, and then below this is a summary of the score over time. Uh, so again, you want to see hopefully that your G-Shift score is trending upwards. Um, and again, it's all based on percentage. So to add keywords or edit keywords, you click on the keyword tab. And if keywords are already added, you can uh, view keyword. If you wanted to add another keyword, let's just delete one to do a test. You do have the option down here when you uh, haven't used your five keywords, so you have five keywords total, you have an option to add another keyword. So for any individual keyword, you click on view keyword report, and we will give you a breakdown of how that keyword is performing currently. Now right now we have no data for this keyword. And then you can also get details on just what reports are saved and what reports are running right now. So uh, the most recent report was ran yesterday. And you can click on the details to actually see uh, just a breakdown of your rankings for those keyword phrases. So rather than on the keywords page where you see for each individual keyword, this is accumulation of all of your keywords all at once and whether or not they're ranking. 